pentakills you inside your fountain. <laughs> you don't say. It's like we got some mids being banned out right now. The Kale gets thrown away from Dignitas. The last ban as they go through very fast. Crumbs grabs himself the Lee Sin to keep mobile. Fresh around the jungle. He feels very comfortable with that first pick. Captain early game reporting <laughs> in here. Lee Sin number one. Number one challenger for that spot there. Uh, he's definitely a very good start. Crumbs not only loves this champion, but he's very strong and uh, plays in the Crumbs style of putting down a lot of wards because he'll naturally pick up that side stone. So this is just such a strong first pick here from Dignitas. LMQ definitely will have been expecting this though, uh, leaving Lee Sin up on the table. Dig will almost always take it. Looks like a utility safety crowd control team so far, LMQ. Xiao Wei Xiao's assassins have kind of been knocked out of this one, so he goes back to Oriana for the possible lock-in. Nidalee has fallen out of contention for these guys with this recent changes, so I'm sure there's a, a sad face there for some people. But moving on to new champions, we get to see some variety. Ah. This was seen quite a bit in Korea in the top lane, and Gragas gets locked in for the first time today. Hasn't even been banned either. Yeah, let's take a look. Uh, we'll see. If, I'm going to keep a close eye on the build here, too, okay. from Gragas, because... Are you expecting anything? This is another balance between uh, tank and damage. All right, so uh, just in general. A lot of guys uh, will go too heavily to one side and uh, sort of be irrelevant later in the game. Okay. Gragas is great for top lane, though. He does uh, percentage health damage, so he's great against Ooh. any of those tanks. However, with top laners trending more towards utility, uh, we may see a different pick here from Dignitas. Yeah, they took Lulu both and Kale out. both banned. Yeah. However, there's still other options. Brom coming in here is going to be big for them. Two because ladies, if straight they don't the want a traditional tank up there, mm -hmm. then Brom is the, one of the best supports for you to pick up. Uh, so he can tank from the bottom lane. Good words to live by. Looks like Tig has that Brom for Kiwi Kid so far. Xiao Wei Xiao slowly locking in the Morgana as Vasily waiting and thinking. We always see that Moore is the one to pick for Xiao Wei Xiao, but they got first pick for mid early, and this Renekton being hovered over as well. LMQ different. gonna go full Korea here with both the top lane Gragas and the jungle Rangar. Now, jungle Rangar, really big fan of the high cooldown reduction builds Locked on him. In. A lot of people have been trending towards these very high cooldown reductions because that is pretty much the best way to scale him. Just getting off more abilities means you get more empowered attacks. And the empowered attacks are full power mm -hmm. regardless of which ability you're maxing. So the more of those you can get off, the better, as well as he provides a lot wow. of lane pressure. Similar to Evelyn coming from the Korea works. That was Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a good way to put it, Kobe. Kogma <laughs> definitely seeing a lot of love in the Korean play for OGN. See if it gets locked in here. Still saw some scary play yesterday as well. Candy Panda couldn't get into a safe position. He was kicked all over the place. Kogma is facing another Lee Sin. Could it be that bad? We'll have to see if Vasily can get himself in a better position, but awesome picks coming in here on the side of LMQ. And we get to see Zion on Jax today. Haven't seen the Jax back out. Yep, meanwhile, yeah, yeah Dignitas time. going classic here. Right. With Zion, That's Spartan, call. split push Jax. Now, that being said, Jax has recently not had a lot of success and also getting hit in this 4.10 patch a little bit with the itemization changes yeah. might be even harder that being said zion spartan is a master at jacks one of his favorite champions and he will still be very at home on that champion so that's good you look at the wheelhouse champions the at home champions and dignitas has picked up quite a few of those as well as having lucian in the bottom lane so as the champs are now locked in and the game's starting to take shape let's see how you guys have been voting over to lolesports.com 63% of you are calling this match for Dignitas. But now that you have actually seen those team compositions, yeah. you can update your vote by tweeting the hashtag DIGWIN or the hashtag LMQWIN to at LOL Esports. And keep updating it. You can just tell your friends you were right the whole time. It's easy enough. Eight to four, both of these teams looking for sole possession of first place. Like we said, with Team Solo Mid's win today, it kind of shuffled things around and allowed for, not the first time we'll have just one person up there, but you, our ties have not ever been at the top. They've Gotta say, in the middle. I it's wasn't expecting season. anything less <laughs> than the start today. Complexity is now 2-0 against Cloud9. That's <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I woke up saying that too. Yeah. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> but great games, great plays. The, the, the stretch of the summer has only allowed everybody to get that much better. And new things are being 
tried. Yeah. And the champions coming out, we're seeing a, f not a few new ones, but definitely in different areas. And you can also see teams trying new things. A lot of teams, not only are a lot of teams getting a lot better in general, yep. but there are games where a lot of these teams are just playing a lot worse. A lot of these top teams are having some very, very poor games where yep. they completely just make mistakes all over the map. So it's that in combination with uh, everything else at the top of the standings has really thrown North America through a loop here. Very hard to predict nowadays. Yeah. Because pretty much any given team, even the top ones, are not consistent anymore. It's always like a team has the other's number. Very interesting. I don't know who's got whose number here as we start nope. right now. Kiwi Kid. Looks like he's giving a call over to Moore. However, Moore gets extra gold for hitting his skill shots there. So game over. Early advantage to LMQ. Almost got it. I have to say though, picking up Rangar, this is the perfect champion for LMQ. Because Rangar no longer loses stacks, and he just gains stacks for kills and assists. So no matter what happens, as long as they're fighting, he's going to start his snowball. As somebody dies for Dignitas, then a no name is who will continue to stack that up. And I'm very interested in his build, as a lot of people have been going Feral Flare into cooldown reduction and tank. Um, but some have even been selling the Madreds and mm. going with a spirit item. At what point would that happen? <laughs> so you can keep the matchups for a long time mm -hmm. um, and get the spirit item. It gives you a lot of uh, jungle camp control. Um, Kakao, I think, did this first. Wow. Um, but then, Madreds is actually one of the most efficient items to sell. You get 70% of the gold back that you paid for it when you sell it. So you can uh, just sell it later and not even have to create the Feral Flare if you don't like that item. However, a lot of people do like to complete it because it gives you that ward. Yeah, wards are cool. Always good for junglers, especially. We do have the lane swaps here coming out, and the semi-standard yeah. double jungle going to commence. As usual, we will keep an eye on that three and a half minute dragon, see if Dignitas try and force it, and what LMQ can do to interrupt it. We have not seen uh, very many successful ones as of late. So it was really just that first EG attempt. And I caught everybody got off guard. Something we got to point out is in in their attempt to get Shifter off a huge lane push, they actually did put him on Cinder here, and they're already trying to focus him with a little bit of pressure, so they won't be kind of countered by all that Shifter pressure this game with lane sieging. Yeah, Shifter. I mean, Cindra. Uh, uh, Cindra, <laughs> she's no Ziggs, right. but she does have a decent wave clear of her own. Thing is, both of these mid laners were also hit by the Athenes nerf, uh, so they'll be on yeah, fairly point. even footing. Uh, this matchup didn't change too much, except that overall, with less magic resistance, uh, the kill pressure is a little bit higher. So a little bit more dangerous yeah. if a jungler does come around. Uh, or two will be receiving. <laughs> yeah, we will be receiving a lot more damage. Look at this mirror. Yep. Easy peasy. Like you said, when this happens, usually you take over the other side of the jungle. The river just becomes the, the midpoint of that. You can see hovering on both sides, deja vu. Also, we do have to note this ward by LMQ down at that dragon. So LMQ will be alerted if they go to start it. They know that they're moving for it now. We have a recall from Moore, but it's good. it would take him so long to get down there. I think they're going to give up on interrupting it. And now it's just up to how well can Dig juggle the aggro of this dragon to avoid damage? So far, it doesn't look like very well. They're just Taking putting a the lot higher health bar on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really just putting the HP in there. That's just brute force there. All right, that's good though. 10.02, we'll be looking at another dragon to come up. They have the time on that. It'll be after, quite after the buffs, so it's not really going to coincide with what happens on any of those objective engagements. And that is a pretty substantial, you know, 900 yeah, gold now. Yeah, really. Uh, pretty big pickup for them. LMQ will be alerted, though. We t talked about that ward. They'll know when the dragon will come back up. Rangar's just trying to get to level 6, by the way, as quickly as possible. A lot of uh, kill pressure once Orion is 6 in lane. Middle is very easy for Rangar to gank. It's all going to be up to Shifter. Yeah. Quick reactions. He'll have to land a good stun if Rangar decides to go for that mid lane for his first gank. First back for the mids, we'll see what they come out with. As we've said, 
the 2v nuns kind of put those mid laners on an island, so it'll be up to them to really harass each other down and keep the rotations from coming out of mid lane. Five minutes in, so we've got the matchup, but it's the Zion Spartan and Kiwi Kid and Vasily and more on the other side. Kiwi Kid trying to get some uh, CS for his buddy over there, does have the Targon. A little quick chat with Shifter, we'll get this situated. Both teams pretty much kind of even Stevens right now as we come into the game. A little bit of that gold lead because of Dragon, but not much has been pressured due to that. Dignitas has been able to use that gold to pick up the pink wards, which will start to lead into their map control. Yeah, three pink wards yeah. right now. And by the way, there aren't any on the map, so those are the only mm -hmm. ones in the game. This is true to the uh, reinvented Dignitas yeah. that we've seen this split. Very, very heavy vision concentration for them. A lot of emphasis put on that very early on. Uh, Shifter's key bindings are off. We'll get those coordinated quite quick. It's a little different when you're hitting something you don't flash or ignite. But who knows? It may be something different. Each player has their own way of playing. I talked to an AD carry the other day that moves his camera with WASD. Weird. Yeah. No, nothing else to say about that. Destroyed me. That's, well, he's, he's practically challenger, so he's pretty good. Everybody has their own way of doing things. They're actually talking about it over in OGN today when somebody's mouse went out. They kicked it out and couldn't get it to work. And you're like, if those settings don't all come back the way you usually play, things get tough. And it's pretty hard to get back into the game. Especially drivers, drivers are always the, the nicest mouse. thing. The mouse yeah. is key. If you don't have the correct sensitivity that you're used to, right. it feels like playing a whole nother game. <laughs> what is this? Still in the same one? Am I playing CSGO right now? Yeah. <laughs> We're still in the same game. However, Dig versus LMQ, game four here of week six. And we are back five and a half minutes in. Still no kills, but that dragon towards Dig we were talking about. And instantly as they get the chance, they place those two of three pink wards onto the map. Sneaky little move here though, Crumbs. Not only do they have Jax Braum, crazy stun combo, but adding Lee Sin damage in here. Very volatile lane here for Vasily. Let's see how uh, how dangerous this does get. Everybody coming to the party. All right, Pink Ward's going to see him, though. This will be a four versus three if they can catch someone. Can't catch anybody. Good Pink Ward. Uh, does get taken out, though. All right, so no real gain here nor there. That didn't stop Vasily from farming, and Nami Cutie still three two versus in the three bottom deep. lane. Deep. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a fight out of this one. 3v2, no name. That's going to be a concussive pose lockdown. Ackerman, the body slam over the wall. It's got a weak on Ackerman, and that's going to be a black shield that may help, may not. The crowd control's already been used, so the damage hits through. And it's going to be a shield save. Whoa, the flash! Whoa! The that's going to be a hit. There's the burn. He uses an ability to try and get the, re the regen, but it doesn't work. That was just a very poor call Ooh. from LMQ. Close. See, they forced everybody back out of the lane from Dignitas, but that's still three members, and they're going for a yeah. two-man invade. Uh, top squad there, Vasily and Moore not really reacting with the invade, so it all falls apart for LMQ. This is the early Check game that we talked again. about, early advantage, and we talk about these stuns coming in big. Counter-Strike hits both, damage from Lee Sin, pretty easy here. Now, Shifter, the knockback hits, but the ball didn't touch him, so it wasn't a stun, just the knockback. Uh. However, Shifter gets two more balls on the ground right behind him, and they're still in range for his ultimate. Oh. Those two extra Syndra balls on the ground just behind him there, adding enough damage. And they're even able to buy enough time. 20 to 30 seconds in the jungle. Last time we saw him, it was 640. They're going to pick up the blue as it respawns. And that slow move by Xiao Xiao over to try and help Ackerman because he was CSing in the mid lane. Yeah, he got a few more CS, but right. it cost your top laner their life. Uh, Scrog is going to have a hard time getting back into this game. Good play there to get themselves back over. The knowledge of that being stolen, though, is there from the pink ward. He walks right past. He's going to go ahead and clear that. Looks like he knows it's there, though. No, he does not. I wonder if LMQ ever got vision of crumbs even in that bush. Ah. Because that would be the they see, only They seem a little reason. headstrong running in there. It would be the only reason that they would go for that invade. And even then, two versus two in that jungle versus uh, Braum and Jax would be risky. <laughs> Regardless, though, that was the early game that uh, they were talking about trying to take advantage of LMQ. And once again, they've done a good job. They've got an early lead versus LMQ. This is exactly the situation that you want to be in. We'll see if how LMQ actually react to this one because in the past, they have just continued to uh, try and make moves and keep up the pressure. We'll see what they do once they get this level six Rangar. Yep. What you want to do, fully stack your Ferocity 
and then probably go gank your Orianna lane because Rengar jumping in, you can time your Shockwave yeah. right as he lands, easy land the snare, and you can actually have two snares. All that damage in the time of the uh, CC will probably be enough. Could work out for them quite well. We see the back from Xia Wei Xia in the mid lane. He's only got CS up on Shifter because he took Wraith Camps just now with no name. That's usually how Xia Wei Xia gets himself in that high CS gold situation. Crumbs and Kiwi Kid hovering this spot right here. Crumbs liking the spot when he just wants to pick apart a team and they make sure they don't get any of their objectives or any map movement. Yeah, they were trying to prey on the blue buff handoff, mm -hmm. but Xiao Xiao already has his blue buff. Wasn't going to pick it up. And a little bit of a mistimed attempt there, but not going to cost him. Here it is, the mid lane. Let's see if they can pull off this combo. Looking shifter, he gets warned out. Not going to be enough. They throw the shockwave in. There it is, the finisher. The kick goes up, but no name doesn't really go anywhere. And it looks like they're going to be able to get the kill they Ooh. wanted. Like you said, Kobe waiting for six, and it worked out. Yeah, a little dirty though. Um, mm. Being alerted there, he had to jump to the minion and then barely got his empowered snare off. No name escapes by the skin of his teeth. Good ultimate from Shao Shao to pull shifter back into range. Close call here. Crumbs tried to get that counter gank off. But again, as we talked about LMQ, they continue to try these moves. That one pays off. Gets them yep. one step closer to back in this game. Let's see what Dig can do, trying to set something up. They know they're calling over on the cutie pie for this, so they're waiting for anybody else to make a wrong move. Looking around the map as Dig picks up some more gold. Zion Spartan starts a double Doran's blade start to Ackerman's double Doran ring. A little different from top laners, but we also haven't seen Jax or Gragas in the NA 4.10. Two dragons in a row for Dig is really big. With the increased gold value of that objective, you really can't uh, give them away as, as much as you used to. Crumbs especially has been very vocal about how much emphasis you should put on the dragons nowadays. He is definitely very, very happy with how this early game has started out, as should be the rest of Dig. Dig is remains this consistent in the game, usually it becomes quite a fluid game for them. They're able to follow up on a lot of the aggression, and the communication looks stellar throughout the entire time. Blade of the Rune King now finished up on Cutie Pie. We'll be able to just use that to farm in lane. There's really no objectives to force LMQ into right now. So Crumbs, he's gonna go looking. Yeah, Cutie Pie definitely gonna go with that. Rune King into Ghost Blade build. He's very happy about the increased yeah, right? Ghost Blade Ghostblade active. <laughs> Smile from ear to ear when he heard that guy was back. See Everybody if they can collapse on this, Invade. Looks like they're coming out of base. Ackerman and No Name wouldn't really be able to do much to solidify a kill between those two beefs of Crumbs and Kiwi Kid. So it looks like they make it out safely, but they split. They are being a little bit dangerous well, yeah, in their they're trying, to, here. trying to bait right now. Yeah. Um, no Name was trying to stay out of vision so they could actually collapse if uh, Crumbs decided to come over. Doesn't happen for them. Normally it's very dangerous to invade Rangar's jungle because he has so much mobility inside his own jungle, being able to use the bushes to his advantage. Shao Shao gets collapsed, huh? Oh, only one hit of concussive blows. No follow-up there from any auto attacks. Two to one in kills. Both teams respecting the power of each other. And LMQ is really keeping it in mind that they got to get Vasily big. He hasn't really seen any dangerous situations yet. LMQ's playing the game they want. Yeah, let's see how long uh, top lane. Whoa, here goes the ulti. That's Kiwi Kid. He grabs a lot. That's the ulti as well from the Shockwave. Crumbs just on the other side. He is toying with fire right now, sitting on top of a ward, and he knows it. Yep, once again, multiple ultimates by LMQ used on a single player. Just the support there to get them the man advantage I on like the this. map. <laughs> now they really want to contest this blue. As long as he keeps blue in between goal side, he can't catch a dark binding. But they finally pull it back over to him. Better get it in the bush. Crumbs might try and smoke it. Oh, he baits him in with that. It's gonna be worth living artillery coming down. They still have vision from that, but it's not full range from Vasily yet. He's only got the rank one. This is gonna be big. They get out of the explosive cask, and it's gonna be the hit. Blade of the Rune King comes up, flashes the binding. Cutie Pie just at the last second. Now they weren't able to get a kill off of that, and they left top lane alone. Right, this that is a Jax. Big. Yes, Jax got hit a little bit with the changes, but he's still a beast in the late game as far as split pushing goes. Getting that Sheen, he's gonna take this down quite fast as well. 
So hits there, Crumb's quite hurt, so he won't be coming out of the jungle after this. You can see him blinking on the screen. Scion's gonna need at least one more wave, and he may actually be pushed off of this. You can see Ackerman coming top. So Dig is kind of setting up. They know they have themselves a gold lead, and they've been pressuring it quite well. Crumb's may have gotten himself into a scary situation there, but they pulled out of it. Yeah, and this, uh, on the other side, this Rangar here in the jungle, he hasn't gone for some very early cooldown reduction. Let's see if he upgrades his boots to Boots of the City or not. A lot of people have been getting uh, the Kindle Gem rather than that uh, giant spell so that he can have more offensive capabilities with the lower cooldowns. What? He actually is trying to get an early Randuin's Omen. Mm. That item was hit so bad in the Fortnite right. patch. I well, if you're an AD carry, anymore. then you're smiling. Yeah. <laughs> it's great for you guys. <laughs> All the tanks. This is an item you got to put in your pocket now. We're not seeing any Sunfire Capes just yet early either, but the top laner is not really ones to build. See the early Triforce going to be in the hands of Zion Spartan. We talked about the Sheen coming out behind Ackerman. Going to see a kick to the fat man on up. this one. To the double, if he can he's hit this, great. Stun. There's the oh. one. Oh, the concussive blows goes on. That just means he's going to be locked up with the extra damage on top. They lay down the cherry. Who's going to get it? Who yeah. wants it, guys? That's what they're saying right now. Well, they definitely but want Jax to get it. It's going to be no focus. As long as LMQ isn't getting anything out of this, they're good. Crumbs will take it. Not too bad overall. Great pick up there. Crumbs with the Sight Stone as well. Also on Kiwi Kid, they're utilizing this. Free moves through the jungle, getting them kills like that. Yeah, I was wondering how bad did they want to put that money on Zion because he had Flash. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want it on him that bad. An assist will be just fine for him. Crumbs can take that money. Maybe Crumbs can use that to further advance their mid-game here with yeah. Lee Sin. He does. He has hit his main two uh, two items here: the mobility of the Sight Stone plus his jungle item already. What's that? I can't hear you. It's Jax is beating on a turret. <laughs> Kiwi Kid always adding aggression. And he's he's toned down his... Ooh, pretty early here. Oh, dear. Got in range. LMQ trying to pick off Shifter in the mid lane. They still see him as a very big threat, and why not? Taking down the damage dealer, the front end burst on your team is no easy task and would easily give LMQ mid turret. Now they're forced to sit back and let Dig Ward their side of the jungle again. Just Interesting. Uh, dangerous invade here. They don't have too deep of wards right, right. because LMQ have set up some defensive pinks of their own. Uh, but man, they are just holding on by the edges here. This is Jungle Battleground. This is pretty taunting. Quickly play, going though. to Dignitas' favor. But Vasily gets one there. You're farming right in front of the enemy. It just kind of puts him on tilt that no much No teleport more. for Ackerman here. So another dragon going for Dig. Will they just go for this anyways? It's pretty late. Oh, the calling's going to be right up front. Not actually used just yet. He holds it. Now hitting No Name. No Name splits off to the left. A two-man shockwave not doing all that much damage, but Ackerman comes in to disperse the fight and give them the section off they need. Taking down Zion. Oh, the hit from Krongs. He comes in. Taking down No Name. A little bit of jungler love back and forth there. And it looks like they're going to have the aggression in mid. Yeah, LMQ not in position in time, so they pay for it. Not only Dragon, but also no name going down there and answer. It was a great ultimate from Ackerman. Got to give yeah. him credit there to pick up the Jax kill. But even with just that, it wouldn't have been uh, an ideal situation for them. Didn't talk to skyrocketing out of control here. A great start, too. Yeah, great initiation there. Shifter not hesitating. Pops off the ulti. Yep, perfect job. That's exactly what you want to do when you have a Garg's ulti is knock everyone away except for a single target right. that you're trying to kill. Shifter, beautiful stun over the wall while Crumbs is going for the kill. This time around, good coordination from Dig. And they've had that Dragon Timer down pat. One, two, three. And that's where most of the gold does come yeah. from for the team. The Dragon's been controlled. The map has been controlled. The first pick, Lee Sin came in, and he's got full kill participation. 3-0-2 in the five kills of the game. Crumbs getting Lee Sin is not an easy thing to play against. And that was their priority pick. Yeah, it's going to be harder for LMQ now because <laughs> Zion's getting out of control. See if he can save Such these. Such a badass, Kiki Kid. Save these minions for Shifter. Does get the Targon execute on Cannon Minion. Yep. Cutie Pie's almost got his Ghost Blade to go along with his Blade of the Ruin King. Just wait. It'll be close. They all laughed at him before. Not anymore. <laughs> it's, 
He's not the hipster. 19 minutes coming up on the clock. A 6,000 gold lead. It's been a while since we looked towards the top of that scoreboard, but Dignitas has definitely given themselves a lead where they can make some errors, but they've been playing very consistent and haven't even fallen into that realm. Two turrets in their favor right now. Still looking to drop mid, but that's LMQ. When they know to set up defense, it's going to be a little bit harder to get past that front line. Yeah, you can see pretty much they're just fighting over uh, their own jungle right now. Dignitas slowly, slowly encroaching on Elokimu territory, throwing down the ward, Zion gets caught. Boom, back and forth, actually hits him into it. I think he should just let himself die there. Smart move, can't really get Ooh. anything out of that. The turret goes down to mid lane. Multiple four man yeah. games right here. However, oh, wait, not expecting that. Dignitas, they're able to perform their four versus one at the turret, so they get an objective with the kill. Whereas Zion just dies in the jump time on that. Oh, great. Good shockwave, but he gets Fisher locked there. up. You can only do so much, even if you have a shield to speed up and crowd control. <laughs> There's a, a nice stand behind me, an unbreakable coming in from Kiwi Kid. Pretty much sets up a riot shield for the rest of the team to fight behind. Looks like they're going to relax on this one. They have some gold to spend. They're going to go ahead and go back and do that. We could have a Rabadons very soon onto Shifter. That's going to make one of the highest damage alts in the game hit even harder. We see Cutie Pie, like you said, very close. That goes Blade. There's the Rapidons. Yep, Dignitas really don't have to worry too much right now. Uh, they've got Zion with his Trinity Force. He's already got everything he needs. Yeah, that too. Uh, to take anybody one versus one. As we've seen, it takes multiple people to take him down. So if they decide to go for Zion, which they can do, it's going to cost LMQ multiple resources. Yep. And Dignitas are okay with that. As he's saying, they've taken the trade. Zion sacrifices his life valiantly for the good of the team. <laughs> as Digger able to get more out of it than LMQ. Very smart plays, even if somebody's dying or they're taking a bit of damage to start it off. Zion still trying to go hard in the top lane. And like you said, that Triforce rush coming in from the Jax seems to still be working on him, but he's not against the Kale or Lulu top lane, against the first Gragas of the NALCS. And so far, 111 to 102. And also mid lane, have to mention, Oh, maybe have to mention, Crumb's getting hit up. Locked down there. That's another time the ultimate's been used by No Name and nothing comes of it. Yep, not they're, able They're to trying get to get these picks. He wasn't able to get that snowball yeah. rolling early with Rangar. Just speaking <laughs> shortly about Shifter and Xiao Wei Xiao. 217 to 214. Usually Shifter's the one to fall behind in Seattle. Oh, oh, oh in baby, the teleport on the backside. He stops that. He said, there's a little bit of distance between you and them, and I think I'm going to stay top lane. Now, what they've done is that cause Ackerman to oh, walk back dear. and forth the jungle. It's only so big, Kiwi Kid. It's only a big shield. You can get out of there alive. Wow, he does stay alive. They use so much to try and kill Kiwi Kid, and they have nothing to keep it going. That was a non-Ghost Blade aided calling as well, I believe. Cool. Not even popped there from Cutie Pie. They're able to zone off the team. No, they get one kill, and that's just... Not only is Zion Spartan going to be able to bully top lane, but also the four versus three now. Yep. Hard defense for Xiaoi Xiao. See if he can pull it off. Does get stunned. Okay. Oh, what a flash just in time. The fast fingers of Xiaoi Xiao. He's able to throw the ball out as well and counteract that. The turret's going to go down, but is there a reinitiation? There is not. Ackerman roams down to mid, though. That means they sacrifice more up top. Extra farm for Zion Spartan. Can he get to the turret? Might have to back off after that cannon minion because no name's coming in hot. Rengar ulti. Doesn't have not up. Ulti. Yeah. Not too hot. It's more of a waddle. <laughs> 7 to 5 on the clock. They're going to be going back for Dragon. And Cutie Pie Vasily. Featured matchup coming into this game. 201 to 164. Lucian finally getting picked up after going through two champion selects without even really seeing any play. A lot of people said he's the guy to be grabbing with that build. The one that Reckless also put out in Europe in the LCS. And he seems to be working it just as well. Kiwi Kid getting hit up once again. He is no stranger to being on the front line. Morgan shot one more time. Cutie Pie actually is not inside the shockwave and he's free to relentless pursuit inside the Baron Den. A Cathian surprise does not take him out. Kiwi Kid follows up with the Winter's Bite and chomps down right onto Ackerman. Whew. LMQ did get the dragon, yeah. but at least they secured one without their jungler. However, they just lose way too much map control here. Dig probably going to steamroll right in. Oh, Zion gets one hit on the turret. Yeah. That local goal is actually really important. A lot of people That's the forget leave. 
Yeah, they forget that there is local leave. gold if you leave that to the minions. Losing out. <laughs> slow ward. Good counteract on the slow. Coming up on 10,000 gold in the pocket of Dignitas. Ooh. LMQ wishes they Short had. Hop. Nice. That's such a crazy combination because if it was Lee Sin, he could have done the same thing. It's, it's Both really play. hard. Have you ever thrown Ebola? Those things are really hard to aim. <laughs> Sounds like user error, Kobe. Yeah, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I like how Don put down a ward in front of it too to try and block. <laughs> like he used to be able to do it with old, and stuff. Old school. This fight, one more time. What a move from Kiwi Kid and Cutie Pie and the rest of the team flanking down from the top. Like you said, Dragon was grabbed there, but Dick just seems so sure of himself in these fights. Yep. Uh, they were able to re-collapse their shifter has pretty much been, you know, he hasn't had much pressure on him at all, and he's been able to yeah. just fire away from the back lines with his Syndra. Lands a great stun there, followed by another ultimate for a kill, and he's already got five kills. Right. Once again, lead into team in kills. Going to become a very, very powerful force. That's crazy. Finally getting to use that power. Zanyas is almost finished, so it won't even matter if No Name's going to be in range. He's going to have to go for someone else. Cutie Pie's got the Blade of the Ruin King to keep himself alive, too. So it's going to be tough. Yeah, and, and even though LMQ, they're still trying to go for things. They they run at the drag, they even without do, right? their jungler. Pedal to the metal. You can see how desperate they are. No jungler, don't care. We got four people just trying to get down the dragon. Yep. And even though they get it, they still lose out in the end. This gold lead is getting kind of out of control for them. Uh, but they are still willing to try everything, throw everything that they have at those objectives to try and get back in the game. There is bonus experience still, comeback experience on Dragon. So it does help out the team, everybody who's around there when they take it. Take the house. Don't forget to have to put their foot down soon. They're doing it slow right now, as should be. Zion Spartan pushing the bottom lane, can teleport in. They'll have to bring the fight to him. Kiwi Kid been huge on initiations this game. It's like he's loving Braum. It's like a flash Annie you can stand still with. Just hit those cues and the whole team's there. He's been fairly happy with that situation. He's only died one time too. Pretty good showing there yeah. for Kiwi Kid. Now LMQ, let's see what they do to answer this. Zach Spartan has switched lanes that he's split pushing in. Getting really deep in that bottom lane. Plus, he's got all this ward coverage, yeah, so boards. not only does he get a whole lane of farm, but he's taking jungle farm. Already, you can see the cutlass is completed. He's working towards that ridiculous power, blade plus trinity force, and they use him to draw up as much as they can to that top. See if he teleports in for this Baron, uh -oh. or if they just get it without him. That shockwave so big. Kiwi Kid's taking the most damage from Baron. He's going down, and that's going to be a kill for more. That last spittle from Baron. Shockwave, yeah. shout. Thought he wow. got the shield. Shockwave on the uh, only Kiwi Kid gets so much damage there. He's able to take somebody oh. out. No name wants to follow it up on front. Oh, the Banshee's Veil just comes up for him. Oh my gosh, the timing. Wow. Uh oh. Ackerman, though, just gets chased down by Zion. Yeah, could be bad. That would be a slow from the cask. He'll be all right, though. No, he gets bottom lane to push, though. Nobody can still pressure him. We see that the split push completely in Zion Spartan's favor. He lost zero HP during that. And slowly for LMQ, this Kogma has got his double attack speed items. Scaling pretty well, but he's going to need that big boost of the Infinity Edge. Yeah. For third item. Living artillery. You should not, not in this situation, hard. you definitely should not get a Last Whistler for Kogma. Not only does it do a lot of magic damage, but also nobody's building armor for Dig. Boom! It comes up. And the first one gets blocked. But That's crazy. Hit the second one. And Banshee's Veil seems to be a good buy for Crumbs this game. It would have been three, two, and four coming out of that. Clears from Kiwi Kid. He's not worried. Nobody's been able to stop him yet. He's taken everything that LMQ has to offer and still got not alive. The plays are only getting easier to make for Dignitas as they gain more control. Yeah, they've got plenty of control around Baron. Dragon's coming up in one more minute, so they'll get. Uh, they have, they have that available for them if they want to just take mm -hmm. that. Ooh, setting up here though in LMQ jungle. Holy moly! Oh, it's like a full team kick. Oh, he just got two there. Somebody flashed out, but Xiao Wei Xiao obliterated immediately. This is what an 11,000 gold lead looks like. Two go down instantly. Dignitas, 42 seconds on Dragon. Baron's up. They have everything to toy with and grab if they want, and they can make LMQ dance to their tune. Let's take another look at this. Crumbs comes in, hits one. 
More dash. Oh. Gets the kick onto Moore into Xiao Wei Xiao. Oh. That's just like being bobbled up and down. I don't think that he touched the ground. Yeah, there's no way for LMP <laughs> to actually venture into this Baron Pit and get vision. So at this point, they've only got oh my gosh. their lives to lose. Nothing to gain here. Everybody's got a dash, a jump, something on this team. And Kiwi Kid can follow that up, too. He'll be right on the front line with that dash or jump or the defense peel. And hey, it's not uh, the end of the week. This is the beginning of the week. Dignitas looking good. Yeah, that's they, right. Uh, they usually come back really strong at the beginning of the weeks. See how they finish it out. We saw Skara on Kiwi Kid's time, headset so. in the beginning, kind of chatting to the team, talking uh -huh. it up. Most of the chat was with Shifter. Maybe it was something different, saying you're going to get focused. I don't know. It seems like he's taking control of that. 5 1 and 2. 3 0 9. Hitting out over 20 CS on Xiao Wei Xiao. Not something you normally see, especially coming for Shifter, one of the lower farmers. Yep. He's had a very solid Sinju game here. His roam over at the beginning, uh, when LMQ did their ill fated invade yeah. with the two Tracker men down. And no name, was oh, very, really. very timely. Adding an extra kill for Dig. And it's kind of gone to plan for them. I mean, they talked about how much they were going to put into the early game, and it's the key to taking down this LMQ team. Pretty much all going for the plan, and they've executed very well since then as well. Dragon after dragon yeah. after dragon. Only that one for LMQ that actually cost them three people's lives. And LMQ is waiting right now. They're saying, where's Dig? We're just farming. Our lanes are super pushed out. But is this where LMQ kind of starts to put themselves in the, the positive defensive position? Because they banned out all the Shifter Siege, so it's going to be a little harder if they can't dive under the turret. It's hard to dive a Gragas, hard to dive a Morg. Well, it's actually going to be pretty e Oh, here we go. LMQ get pretty desperate. They force oh, the fight. Dodge. 14,000 gold behind. They're doing what they can to get this fight on, but Dignitas knows they have the cash. There's the hit. The Winter Spite just missing. And for what it's worth, that was just more going down. The turret may take some damage here. So they forced the fight because they have nothing to deal with Zion Spartan now. Zion Spartan, yeah, he's the strongest That's one versus one on the, the map. won't matter. Nobody yeah. can go deal with him. So they just forced the fight to try and get the TP and hope that they can kill somebody before the TP completes. So Not it doesn't even matter about it. getting to the turrets. It's about spreading LMQ thin. So far, one out. Moore's back in one second. Still very low in levels. This is almost where LMQ loves to fight when they can keep returning to the fight and keep it going until they whittle you down. This time, with such a gold lead, Dignitas can make errors and still be in the lead here. Back to Zion Spartan and the split push. They're going to start spreading LMQ thin on their own baseline. Yeah, they like, they like to fight, but they like fighting fair fights. This is kind of <laughs> like LMQ are wielding a spoon and Dignitas have a AK-47, mm. as far as gold is concerned. Damn. That's a rough <laughs> fight. That's a rough That's fight. That's a rough fight. <laughs> we'll see what they can do with this spoon. <laughs> All right, let's see. Mind over matter here. There is no spoon. They can do Well, that would suck, because they need it at least. <laughs> they need something. Go for the eyeballs, probably. There you go. Get the gouge. We got it. All right, plan in action. See if they can set the priority straight. Going out in the mid turret here. Coming up 32 minutes in this game. There's the all. Oh, what a Kiwi kid. Unbreakable. Very nice. Looks like they're going to be able to do this. They feel pretty comfortable being this close. Hey, looks like No Name is just eating the calling from Cutie Pie. They're onto the turret now. And Cutie Pie with Whoa, it. Whoa, Kiwi! As well. Gotta be very careful, careful here. Without Zion Spartan on full. Well, yeah, he's still on good? full split push. Classic just LMQ Zion. doesn't care. Turret goes down. He's in a 3v1 right now. Moore's going to have to soul shackle this guy. It's not even going to matter. Zion Spartan trying to go hard. He, he takes two. four members. He takes down two. And the rest of the team is going to start clearing out the base. Dignitas opens up their present. They're going to see what's inside finally. And yeah, Zion reminding the rest of the North American top laners what a fed Jax can do in yeah. game split pushing. Able to take advantage. And they crack right into the base. Two inhibitors down. Let's see if they wait for Zion or go to finish it. What? Kron's going a little ham on that one. Gets himself all the way in under the Nexus turrets. It's all right, though. Like we said, errors can be made, and that wasn't even an error. They're just doing what they can to have fun right now because they're so far ahead. It might be one of the really bigger gold leads we've seen in the LCS Summer Split. Zion stacked up. Max past Ooh. attack speed. Got his ultimate rolling there. Bobby on the head. Who gets that last kill? Shifter comes Shifter in. Gets, yeah, yeah. 
to take that one. What's up, Shao? Shao? Yeah, he's just walking around the crumbs of his base. Yeah. The rubble. On fire right now. They even have the pink wards laid down in their base as well to make sure they have all the vision and none of it's cleared out behind any of those little trees between the inhibitors. About the same time on Dragon and Baron really would only be stats to help Dignitas get in the base. I don't see it being a problem for them, even if they want to go toward it. 5 1 and 4 1 and 6, 7 1 and 2, and 2 0 7, the core Ooh. of that team in the middle. And Zion Spartan's able to take out anybody at 1 3 and 8. Yeah, he's got a Banshees on top of his Merc Treads. Really difficult to keep him held down because when you are dealing with a late game Fed Jax, pretty much your only hope is to keep him crowd control. But oh. he's got not only tenacity, but he's going to be blocking. <laughs> Kiwi Kid uh, or Cutie Pie there is calling in the airstrike. But. <laughs> They missed. A little off to the left. That's all right. Slow moving here. Right through the uprights. And on the other side, too. Onto the turret. Last one for Dignitas to take down. There will be so many minions. LMQ is going to be running scared for the hills. They won't have enough to stop this all. Looking for Vasily. Where's his positioning? Did get some good living artilleries and some bio arcane shots off last time. But Scion Spartan. Re breaking hell over here. Yeah, he's... <laughs> Solo and uh, Nexus turrets here while the rest of the team, he just really commits to split pushing. He's never joining up with the rest of the team. Yeah, he's he's going all the way to Nexus. Still trying to go in. LM no name. Gonna go down. LMQ no name, I should say. More is there to get into the fight. That Soul Shackle's not really able to clean anything up. Rengar goes down. That's no name. And it looks like all of the Dignitas members staying alive. Kiwi Kid and Sliver of Health is going to help the team as well get this finisher. 35 minutes into the game, Dignitas is going to take down LMQ. Very nice game. All right, guys. Jax is not dead. Not dead at all. Zion wielding him very, very effectively in that split push game. The split push game, the 2v9 in the beginning, definitely helping Jax in the jungle to not get hit up. Would have seen an awesome matchup, Gragas Jax in the top lane, but with the way it happened, Zion Spartan got his way many times over, as well as the rest of the team. The Syndra pick at 9, 1, and 3 coming in for Shifter. All right, not only was Zion a beast late, but early on, that Counter-Strike on two members yeah. of LMQ in the jungle invade, they just decimated No Name and Ackerman. Cutie Pie, as many thought, would go for the Lucian. They were able to pick it. A lot of Lucian was passed up today. And you can see the power that outputs as well. Cutie Pie talking with Kiwi Kid right now, and just how awesome that was. Kiwi Kid as well. Just the brute force he came out with in Braum this game. Soaking up three, four ultimates in a fight. Somehow, seamlessly getting away. And then the team cleans up. Yeah. Last week, he had a bit of a blooper. But blooper. that has never <laughs> that has never deterred Kiwi. Nope. He will go right back to any champion. Remember when he started with Annie? He would he flashed Tibbers. <laughs> there were several missed flash Tibbers, but he never gave up on the champion. He kept playing it. And eventually he mastered it. Same He's thing with Thresh. His 